Thanks. Our team coverage on the October Nor'easter continues with Western Mass News reporter Lindsay Kane. She joins us in studio after getting a better look at some of the damage seen in the southern part of the state. Lindsay. President Jordan, I spoke to a family on Cape Cod Bay who says they're one of the more than 400,000 customers still without power. The Nor'easter slamming the southeastern part of the state. Hurricane-like winds blowing off a chunk of the roof on an apartment building in Quincy. <laughs> Crushing cars in situate. And rain so heavy, Marshfield was left underwater. As we were going to bed, the winds got stronger and stronger, and the house was shaking, and the rain was pelting literally all night long. Lauren Photos tells Western Mass News she's one of the more than 400,000 customers still without power. The storm toppling over the fence on her Sagamore beach house and bringing down trees on top of her neighbor's garage. She says multiple gas stations were left without any gas. She and her family decided to leave Cape Cod Bay to stay with family across the state. We drove around this morning and there were trees everywhere. Wires down. We had to turn around once on a road because the wire was down that they hadn't even identified yet. Governor Charlie Baker addressing the state Wednesday afternoon, saying cleanup efforts are on a slower pace with the damage far from over. There's significant work left to be done, and the most significant impact we're seeing at this point obviously relates to the power outages. Western Mass crews from Eversource and National Grid are now on the front lines working to restore power along the coast. And our crews currently are working really under pretty miserable conditions. I mean, it is still raining, the wind is still blowing, the trees are still coming down, and we are still taking on damage at the same time that we are working to safely restore power. With hundreds of thousands of people still left in the dark, spokesperson for Eversource Priscilla Rest tells Western Mass News crews are making some progress, but their work is far from over. Our crews are working 18-hour shifts to restore power. We have a number of crews that are still coming in uh, to relieve them. Governor Baker says these restoration efforts are going to take multiple days. In studio, Lindsay Kane, Western Mass News. Lindsay, thanks.